architect forum so now we will go ahead and upgrade our dnac software in previous video we took a backup and now we will go ahead and start the software upgrade process so if you are doing software upgrade first time there are few things you need to know and these are the steps i'll upload this document so that you can download and i will talk about the easy step to upgrade your dnac as well as some baseline and recommended checks all right so how to upgrade your software first you have to go to dnac and on your uh, right hand side on the upper corner you will find a cloud icon click on the cloud icon and it will pop up go to software management so click that link it will land you to software management page you will see the current status of software or if any new software is available if you see something is available i recommend you to download the release note go through it understand the new feature bug fixes coming up and if you feel like this is the next software you want to go then you are ready to upgrade dnc software upgrade is two step process first you have to download the uh, all the application and you can download all the packages in one click followed by that you can click on install now and it will start installing all the packages and all the dependencies and sequencing will be uh, met by dna center itself so you don't have to worry about that it's very very simple process time on time you will see that you are upgrading from one uh, release to another release which we call as a major upgrade in that uh, in those kind of upgrade you have to first finish upgrading your system image and then you have to come back and upgrade your applications so you have a base image uh, you can think of base image uh, uh, it is called system image and on top of that you have multiple applications and you, i'll show you that in demo some uh, recommended checks which i would uh, advise you is now with dnc 2.3.x you have a new feature available they call it validation tool and i have done a video system analyzer and validation tool and i have done a video in past which you can go ahead and watch all the details about validation tool system analyzer but we will uh, on very high level touch base on uh, what is a validation tool and what you should do so within validation tool you can run a group of checks which is called upgrade validation test once you have this report handy go through the report and now you are ready uh, if you don't see any red flags that means you are ready to go ahead and upgrade your software i also recommend you take a screenshot from assurance health overall page so that you know your assurance summary or network summary how many devices are healthy how many uh, wired client you have wireless client you have so that after draw uh, after upgrade you don't see any drastic difference between pre and post so it's it give you a good baseline also go to system system 360 and take a screenshot because system 360 tell you a lot about your dnac especially if you are doing sda so it uh, tell you about your dnac cluster health your ice cluster health uh, how ispx grid and uh, other peering is looking uh, if your backup is proper all those things you can see in system 360 page it's a nice snapshot of your system plus uh what you are integrating at the horizontal level right and this is the link for the video uh, where i'm talking very much in detail about validation tool system analyzer and so everything all right so let's go ahead and start our upgrade so i'm going to do the same thing what i just uh, mentioned in that uh, document so what do you want to do you want to go to assurance click on health Take a screenshot, just very simple, right? This is not mandatory, but I just advise it as a best practice. Go to system, system 360, and take a screenshot. So you know if it is a cluster, they are healthy, if you have high availability available, uh, how your ICE uh, is doing, if you have enough backup, application health, everything, a nice snapshot. So these are the two screenshots that definitely not. Uh, 
some kind of like a technical thing but it's a uh, good for operation perspective so that you know where you are starting from system itself you can go to software management or you can click this cloud icon right if you click on this let's say connected to cisco software server a new release is available for downloading all applications are up to date so my current applications are all up to date but i have a new release available so let's go and check what we have it's going to cloud and try to fetch from the repo and we will talk about all the repo and all the things if we have enough interest please put those things in comment and i can make a video where we are handling software upgrade from cli itself but for now let's keep it that way yeah obviously there are some important notice here so if you are going from one release to another release there may be certain caveats if you are not upgrading that frequently and you have uh, a major gap then you may have to do some extra steps and cisco is doing a great job to highlight that so go to the release node yeah if you are in this situation you can just click it and it will open it all right so this is the new version available and what we are running if you want to check what we are running you can go to question mark and you can see 2334 and we are going to 2335 so it's not a major upgrade major upgrade is something where if you are going from 23 uh, 2.3 to 2.4 or 2.3.3 to 2.3.4 right those are some major releases in that you have to upgrade your system image first and then applications all right so it looks like this is a minor uh, one and i am ready to hit download all once you hit download all it will in download all the packages for your appliance then you can click install all it will install packages and if any additional packages are available in new release then you have to install uh, that separately sometime it happened before we do that let's make sure that the current system health is good right and how you can do that you can go to system system health it will open up your cimc and other things how your configuration looks like then click on tools validation tools we have run these reports previously now i want to run one more report and here you can see upgrade validation test assurance health validation but i am only interested in upgrade right now so i can selectively check that if you want you are interested what kind of checks we are running as a part of this uh, validation run these are the things we are doing validate well, the system is offline we can reach the catalog server if the proxy is working fine and all kind of checks which can hinder your software upgrade if you have enough storage space and uh, in data directory root directory if you have enough number of right number of operational pod and everything right uh, so this is pretty smart it's um, uh, so i highly highly recommend you do that let's go ahead and do that uh, i'm going to say make sure that uh, point to note is like many a time dnc doesn't like upper cap so i just avoid that and keep everything is lower lower cap so i'm going to say upgrade to to two three three five something okay and then hit run it's running state in progress in progress we are going to behind the scene dnc is running all those checks you can see in progress you can click on view status and these are the checks which dnc is running all the checks messages are coming in real time okay root has sufficient disk space data storage has sufficient disk space we have some dead part or lingering parts built-in certificate ice is in active state so all those checks it is running make sure that your check is complete okay so our check is complete we have just we have no warning no critical errors it's only a few info level things are there and as you can see status I, we don't have anything critical which is good
okay information will be there always yep what you can do you can export this report so looks like we don't have any issues going ahead with the upgrade so let's go back and this time we'll use hamburger menu system software management hit download all checking now it's checking connectivity certification validation proxy so a lot of things it's uncovering what used to happen behind the scene and you have no idea what dnet is doing a lot of information is now on your screen so you will feel confident right so we have some pre-checks so even if you don't run validation uh, check dnac itself before it start download it run certain checks and this is different from what we did as a validation tool right so that is that is a good thing go ahead and hit download successfully started download of the release so right now mind it it's not going to install anything this is non-intrusive thing uh, it will just download the packages and as you can see it is going to download 45 different packages or applications seven has downloaded already you can click on more details and these are the packages which dna center is going to download it is grouped into multiple categories dna center core automation assurance programmability policy and system and you can see dna center has started a few already and some are waiting so the dependencies are automatically resolved and that's the beauty of a microservice based architecture or cloud native architecture right you don't have to worry about even if you are running hundreds of services you can have an inbuilt logic for upgrade which can take care of dependencies and obviously as you can see um, it will take some time obviously dna center software is are always heavy uh, in size if you want to read about the release note what's coming the new features bug fixes click on read more and it is going to take you to the cisco documentation and we are going to we are downloading let me go back again 2335 so this is the right now we also have 234 but we are not installing that this is the correct release 2335 and you can come back here and check all the software packages what you see here is a 2335 column those are the things dna center is actually downloading so you can see my base image is changing to system image is a base image changing to 769 earlier it was 717 can i search here no you cannot search but yes you if you tally these uh, versions with the release note you will find they are matching exactly same okay here system images system updater as you can see 17769 and it will go ahead and update the system f uh, first and then it will start updating or downloading the other packages All right. so we'll let it run and after that it's pretty easy you will see all the applications here and all you have to do is install now as a part of install the system will reboot as a part of download it won't reboot but when you hit install once the system image is upgraded the dna center will reboot and if it is a three node cluster the each node all the nodes will reboot but they won't reboot at the same time so the high availability is maintained but make sure that you have planned some downtime when you are actually going ahead with the upgrade that is the recommended practice so i will pause this video or maybe stop this video now uh, instead of like we wait uh, hours uh, to see uh, uh, to just hit the install button but if you have any questions or any uh, experience you want to share please put that in uh, comment sections uh, like it subscribe it share it with your friends who are actually started working in an enterprise uh, domain uh, this is a new product if they have any questions uh, feel free to 
send me an uh, email uh, sdntechforum at gmail.com or you can ask um, in comment. I'll try to address them as best of my ability. Thank you very much.